what's going on? What's good with it, y'all? Y'all know what it is. It's another God's View. My man's Gabe. Till then, y'all already know. So, today, y'all, we're going to talk about some conspiracy theory. You know, just because I thought it would be a good subject to. Uh, Great subject. Yeah, maneuver away from uh, the usual what's going on right now. Y'all already know that thing that's going on out here to get everybody spooked and wearing masks. Also, all of the um, other non that thing related issues, such as, uh, you know what I'm saying, we got the, the protests going on still, even though they're a lot peaceful now, you know. Most of them is no rioting or looting now, so you got that. Uh, that's still going on, still trying to find justice for, for those killed by police. Um, we still in the midst of uh, these global big wigs, you know what I'm saying, getting the money and everything. So mm -hmm. I put all that together and figured, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people right now is coming up with all type of theories on what's going on and how it's happening. Me, I got a few little conspiracy theories that I, I want to bring to the table. So, me, my boy Gabe right here, we gonna go ahead and hit y'all off with these young conspiracy theories. Theory, man. Mm -hmm. So, first one I wanted to get into, and I was gonna try to get into the biggest one, but the first one I'm gonna get into is the Flat Earther one. Oh, Jesus. That, that's the, one of the funniest ones to me because through regardless efforts i mean through efforts regardless of what the outcome may be flat earthers think that the earth is just undoubtedly flat they think it's just no way that it can be round um, they got all kind of theory to back up that conspiracy theory so it's, it's everything that range from the, um, the orbit of things, um, the rotation of things, the sun, uh, the atmosphere, everything. It ranged from all kind of mess, bro. You wouldn't believe how many people will hit you off with the, yo, man, you know the earth is flat and they are photoshopping every single uh, image of the earth right now and it's happening like that. I'm like, well, not really, man, because it would take an ungodly amount of Photoshop to Photoshop every single entire image of the earth as round if you had actual pictures now the pictures of the flat earth look made up to me uh -huh. you know what i'm saying those look just made up so reason i i'm i don't really feed into that conspiracy theory is because gravity orbit you know what i'm saying rotation to things bro we have we we made spheres we got things that are circular matter of fact you have things that are naturally circular if you look at every other planet i don't believe every other planet is round and then when you come right to us we just the only flat discus yeah we, we basically space frisbee but for some reason we the only planet that can sustain life what we know of because you also got the alien thing that's another one. Do mm -hmm. you believe in freaking the aliens exist? And say a lot yeah. of people say it's a conspiracy, but then you really got to think about these type of things. Yeah. Is it really or is it not? You got to really ask yourself. Is it is or is it ain't? You know, like, is there a, a such thing as extraterrestrial? I do think so. Because Me too, I believe it. Shit, I mean, this planet was, imagine it that it wasn't made for us to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, this. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's, it's the whole thing about even uh, the controlling of the mind, which I'm not going to get into that, but that's just another conspiracy theory. I mean, yep. it's, uh, everything has a plot behind it. Yeah, everything is just plot twisted nowadays. You got, like, besides the, the flat earther theory, you also worrying about people um, just talking about how the microchip thing is going mm -hmm. on. Like, the government is trying to implant chips. Now that that has been a thing. It's not really a rumor. Rumor. It was something that was floating around, but it was already kind of tossed to the side because a lot of people were not going for that. Because if you're biblical, you understand that in the Bible, toward the end days, you 
supposed to get the mark of the beast. Everybody is relating the mark of the beast to that chip that's gonna get put on you because everybody thinking what the government gonna do, put chips in your hands, and then they're gonna basically crash the entire economy and make it to where they are the, the sole providers of money. And they will be dishing you out a certain ration each and every month. And um, basically you gotta do everything they tell you. You got everything they say. You gotta do everything that they they want you to do. Like if they call you in and tell you, you gotta go to another country and take somebody out. If you don't do it, they'll just shut off the money and all of the things that you need from the micro, microchip, I was gonna say microphone, uh -huh. microchip in your hand and then there you go. They even, they even was talking about, if not the microchip, some type of uh, ink that is uh, for each state will be given a certain dye uh, of ink that'll be classified as their state mark, mm. which you would have to get that. That's what they equivalent to where I think they might be pushing that, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. I mean, yeah. we might not be able to see the shit. God forbid I see it. Yes. But it's too early to call those types of measures right now. Yeah, it's and way too early in the game. By the time we like 67, 66, I mean, they ain't gonna ask us to do none of that shit. No. Uh, they're gonna be like, you guys gonna die anyway. So ain't gonna <laughs> yeah. But yeah. well, we need y'all around for it. Like, and that's another thing. Most of us, most of the people that are trying to implement all of this craziness also are people that are older than us and are fading out fast. Like, the only thing that's dying out is different ways of thinking and the people of old don't want that to happen so that's where you got the conspiracy theory come up with the control with um, the microchip and me that's one of the, um, the more sillier ones because you have all right to tell somebody no you're not putting that in my hand like no just simply no and you have a social freedom and you have a human right to say nah bro y'all are not putting that in my hand to keep tracking me I'm I don't do nothing to society like that and not mm -hmm. that detrimental for y'all to be keeping a hold of me. Good. You know what I mean? Which is, in essence, I think that is the, the, the dumbest thing ever, bro. But hey, that's just me. That, that way of thinking is dumb, in my opinion. I mean, but just think about it. I mean, what's the source of controlling? For what reason? Uh, it, you know, it's not a conspiracy. I mean, this is what they're trying to do now. I mean, I guess, you know, that's what people are thinking now. Oh, they're going to try to control us. Yeah. Well, then the truth of the matter is that actually, if you think about it, we are controlled in some way, somehow, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. somewhere. And we just, I mean, if you set your mind free, you're not going to think about it like that. But then when you really ponder on it, like, damn, society got me all of this, got all of that. And sometimes you can't shake these shakes, but guess what? You gotta live through it. Yeah. Because yeah. a conspiracy theory could be a conspiracy theory, but that's what the media wants you to go ahead and play both sides. Yeah. So you can get, you know, your mind can get altered on some audible that they're trying to throw at you because they're thinking mm -hmm. some of them is too, like, you gotta read those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying, like, it's just yeah, weird. It's just yeah, and then it's like, um, piggybacking off what you were saying, like, they trying to throw an audible and they want you to really miss the, the play. That's why they throw in the audible. Mm -hmm. The play that you had was straightforward. You was gonna hand the ball off. Y'all on the one yard line, gonna score a touchdown. But the government, who is the defense or the deep state, uh, how people be putting it, the deep state, they want to throw an audible, meaning they want to switch up the whole play. Now they want to do a pass play, so one of their people can intercept it, mm -hmm. put what they want into it, and they're running back. You gotta start all over again with the same football and knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Putting it per se like that. But with another, carrying on with the conspiracy thing, another little kind of, this is not like a super, super known one or probably even people, too many people care, but it was the one that I, I seen before I turned the camera on. It was it's a Coca Cola. Mm, it was a Coca Cola conspiracy. Now, They got people have a conspiracy that Coca-Cola is changing its formula and its bottles and everything like that to urge people to either go back 
to the super expensive type of um, ingredients that they were using. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ingredients that they were using. Or they're trying to force people to regress and go back to the older, more cheaper version of Coca-Cola um, in order to save more money. For one, well, I think this one, this one might be a little bit more valid than the rest of them because it's business. And you can't really tell. You can tell some ways if certain people change certain things within the ingredients, but it's really no steadfast, hardcore way of telling that. Like, it's no absolute, without discrimination way of proving that, you know, some of these people change their ingredients, unless you work there. If you work there, well, then, then... That's a whole different ballgame. Yeah, game. then you it's a whole different ballgame. And if y'all was using sodium at first and now all of a sudden y'all using something else and we're not you can say it. and we're not talking about distribution centers we're no. talking about the actual lab where they make yes the flavors and, and everything things. and you have to have a science degree and all this yeah degree. you gotta have all of these degrees Please. in order to get it because yeah. it's shown to be uh yeah. you can't just go up in there claiming that you're a chemist and you, you mix some shit. stuff and you mutate people's genes uh, that's that's a uh, massive lawsuit and plus people be looking for stuff like that anyway so you ain't trying to get no lawsuit over messing around with no chemicals plus it's chemicals man you and chemicals are known to change you know what i'm saying structures atoms the nucleus it's known to change it you know what i mean that's why um you have certain people uh when they live too close to radiation you know what i'm saying you'll have people like sometimes they have like massive hair loss or their their hair will grow so fast that you know what I'm saying their whole body is encompassed in it. You never know. It's different um different type of situations and different type of results for different folks. You know what I'm saying? Some people might have stronger genes, some people might not. But I thought that the little Coke one type was kinda funny, but I also thought about it and was like, it's a little bit true because the company, they want to go cheaper to make more money in order to sell more or less products. So you got them doing that, you know what I'm saying? They might be changing the formula to say, oh, or changing the bottle, be like, oh, nah, man, go back to the old the old way of doing the, the Coke and the Pepsi, and they'd be like, okay, cool. We're gonna go back to using these super cheap ingredients so we can get more bang for the buck. And they said they did it so they can um, drive up the price of the more expensive ones so they can either break even or just keep making way more than they're supposed to. All right. Or it just be basically it'll make people regress and go back to the old formula. And it's much cheaper to do, which basically they're gonna be making more money either way it go. So that conspiracy theory is that Coca Cola one is is, is deep too. Yeah, it's more valid, and that one's actually that that's a little deeper, and that speaks to business nowadays. That speaks to how these the um the the people that provide. Uh, have a street team of people that's out there where they look at the Yelp reviews and all that stuff. Coca-Cola is worldwide. Pepsi yeah. is worldwide and that's crazy. Yeah, worldwide. Not just here in America. It's everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> you go anywhere. China, Russia, you know what I'm saying? Sri Lanka, Africa, anywhere. You see Coca-Cola, Pepsi products, things of that nature. And McDonald's, too. Oh. McDonald's is another one. You see McDonald's Everywhere. everywhere and it's well known that McDonald's is in every country sort of like US um, basis yeah, <laughs> it's embassies, like yeah. embassies it, yeah it's like US embassies we are they are everywhere McDonald's are every freaking where but moving on to the next conspiracy theory <laughs> um, <laughs> this one is a little bit funny to me because it ties into another one that we're going to go into. It's a conspiracy theory out there that um, Ellen and it's like Ellen and a whole bunch of stars are uh, in, involved in um, um, a sacrifice ritual called it's something where they take young kids and I guess young vibrant kids and take the adrenal glands from, that's from the top of their lungs and then they take the adrenal fluid and I guess ingest it and you know 
get superpowers or something like that. Uh, I, that's weird to me because that is weird. Yeah, that's yeah. weird, man. Yeah, People watch it. Yeah, it's that. It's such thing as, as you know what I'm saying. Folks taking kids and the trafficking thing is uh, that is well known and it's based in truth. But just I don't understand who the people are that's coming and giving the information for y'all people to come back and even state things like this. Now, the reason I'm, I'm gonna pick at that one for a couple seconds because one, Ellen is an older woman. So naturally, if she looks like she 10 years younger than what she is on television, but you see her in real life and you're like, dang, she look a little bit older than what I thought. That's because that's TV and that's dope. No, well, they said dope. Magic, that's they slap a pound yeah. of that shit on. Yeah, they slap like a whole, this right. whole pound of makeup they right there. find the right Picasso to do that shit. Yeah, you, it takes hours sometimes. It takes some people six, seven hours. Some people two, at the least, it's take like two or three hours for you to sit up in a chair. Somebody come through, put your makeup on. Another person come through, I guess contour and people face it. Another person come through, powder you up. Another person come through, what, um, fix your teeth up. You know what I'm saying? You got people that do, that cover every aspect of your body. So when you get on that camera, you can look the best that you possibly can. So I'm chalking that up to Ellen, basically, being an older woman. Who? If she wanted plastic surgery, why would she, why would they need to do some crazy ritual and they could just go to the plastic surgeon and say, yo, can you throw some, um, throw some, some, pull me back, man, make me look a few yeah, years I mean, younger. And yeah, she's in Hollywood too, so. Yeah, she so. You can find the right doctor. Yeah, you can find it. Right. And Ellen is beyond rich. So, all thing she got to do is say, hey, one of you famous Hollywood doctors or a famous doctor that, not even famous, a really good plastic surgeon, can y'all make me look a little younger? Hell. You, you know, it's, you see all type of stars doing it. Um, like Joan Rivers, before she died, rest her soul, she tried to do it. And even though Joan Rivers looked like she was like at least 50 in the face and we knew she was like 90 something mm -hmm. um, everywhere else, still. <laughs> rest in peace, Joan Rivers too, you know what I'm saying? For real. No, no diss to her, I love Joan Rivers, but you know what I'm saying? I was using her as an example. But yeah, um, with that, then you got um, all these other younger stars who even get like one crow's feet under their eye and they going under the knife right then and there. You know, it's all about alterations. Plus you can't, it gets sticky when you're talking about women too, because mm -hmm. women sometimes base themselves in their looks. So they looks can be, they go to take it out of anywhere that they at. So they got to keep them up. Um, so with that conspiracy theory about Ellen <laughs> um, and the kids thing that, I don't believe that because she has money. She doesn't need to do some crazy hey, blood ritual. You, you remember the conspiracy theory that Miss Rivers threw out, Miss Joan Rivers, about uh, Barack Obama and uh, his wife being um, a transgender? Uh -huh. Yeah, transgender couple. So that's key. That that's another conspiracy theory that floats really, really hard in the media uh, too. She that, got broad shoulders. Yeah, that that. Um, Michelle Obama is a man somehow. They need to leave that lady alone. Yeah, like and Barack Obama is somehow um, dating a transsexual person. And he just won't come out and say it. But for one, she has records. She has pictures. She even has doctors, notes, and everything to prove that not only is she a woman, but she was pregnant. You can't, you can't be a man and get pregnant. Sorry for you. You just cannot be a man and get pregnant. It does not happen. Michelle Obama has pushed out two young girls who look just like her. I'm, if I'm wrong, I, I apologize, myself, but, Mr. Yeah. Obama, Mr. Barack. Yeah, Mr. Obama, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, his Obama oldest Obama. daughter, Obama. his Obama. oldest daughter looks like. Um, Oh, uh, Michelle and his youngest daughter look like, like him. Both yeah, like both of them. So they got beautiful girls. So it's like that, you know, with that theory, when she said that, I guess she was hating because, uh, you know, yeah. that was the first black. And you got to say it, you know, it was the first black president. You had a beautiful wife. Of course, she's going to hate. Yeah, Joan Rivers, she, she always had a problem with 
something. Politics, any yeah. politics, anyway. Yeah, she was always on on people's necks, especially when it came to politics. But yeah, that that rumor too about Michelle Obama being a man is just dumb. That's she got dumb. A, yeah, she got all kind of proof proof that for one she's not, and for two that people that they like, say yeah she got broad shoulders. It's a lot of it's a lot of women out here that get broad shoulders. They even said that shit about Serena Williams and yeah. her sister. Like oh they they was raised as. Uh, females and stuff like that, but they really men. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's because they built. Because they built. There's some strong. Amazon black women. You yeah. Know? Yeah. They built. We built strong. We well, we come we, out and built like we is because of. Um, we ain't built like everybody. Else. No. Shit. No. That's through genetic. Uh, through genetics, we had to. So our ancestors, what they went through genetically, basically our our genetics got changed and was like, listen, y'all got to come out bigger and stronger in order to to take on what y'all can have to take on in the future. So that's why. We come out the way we do, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the way we did back then. So that that right there, we can hurry up and that one's booty. That one right there was a, a come and go, and that, that's basically perpetuated by a whole bunch of really jealous women that are jealous as hell that everybody says Michelle Obama is a pretty decent looking woman mm-hmm. with, a, with a nice figure. They say, ah, nah, well, she's, she looks like an ape and all of that, you know semi-racist stuff but still no one cares I definitely don't yeah them Obamas is enjoying themselves and I think Michelle Obama is beautiful so much kudos to them yeah they're still living life and kicking it exactly Barry got him a winner he got him a winner winner no chicken dinner he got him a straight winner and y'all was mad at that man some of you folks not y'all that's watching but some of these folks out there in the world really really mad that that man became president what reason? I don't know. Yeah, we know the reason. <laughs> we know the reason. But that leads us to, I say, the, the kind of the last one I want to talk about because it's a million conspiracy theories, but I just decided to elaborate on a few. Okay. The major one that I wanted to shed some light on is this freaking Pizzagate thing. Oh, Jesus. This damn Pizzagate theory that oh, all of these celebrities in Hollywood. Such as Ellen DeGeneres, once again, Oprah Winfrey, her friend Gail, um, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton are all under house arrest because the federal government has secret indictments on them because they had got exposed per se with a child trafficking. Now this is this is crazy. It was a pizza, a pizza parlor in DC, and this is where it, most of this came from. Because you know, presidents and most of the people that go and do their little rounds, they usually go to that pizza shop because dude is well known with the politics, and he got they said he got good pizza, so a lot of people go there. So when he was running, you know, what I'm saying the opposition, the people that did not want him to win, said okay. That pizza shop is helping him harbor his for traffic. So, yeah, that that right there, I was like, okay, yeah, that, they pushing the limit. Yeah, I'm like, that don't sound valid. Then they compiled it to where they say it wasn't just Hillary Clinton. Now, mm-hmm. first it started off with Barack and Hillary Clinton. They was the two that was, you know, what I'm saying, engaging in the. The child trafficking, so you can do whatever, I guess, to him. That spun off into Oprah Winfrey, I guess, throwing her her hat in the bag. She says, okay, well, I want to be a part of that very, very illegal thing that can get all my money taken from me and me thrown in jail forever. I want to be a part of that, too. Matter of fact, I just don't want to be a part of it. I want to have my friend Gail come in here, too. Let her be a part of this very super illegal thing that can get both of us put in jail mm-hmm. and get us... Um, Everything that we got took it. So we're going to be a part of that too. Now, hold on now. Not only did it, it, it was through the grapevine. They said Oprah is down with this and her friend Gail is also down with this, this Pizzagate thing that Obama and Hillary is doing. Oh, 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 well, fuck that. I got to be a part of it now. So, as a degenerate said, hey, you know what? Wait, let me throw some money towards y'all way. So I can help cover up this really mass, really bad illegal thing that can get all of us put in jail 
forever and everything we get into. <clears throat> Let me throw my hat in there too. Now, I guess somebody, Jeffrey Epstein, I guess they said, all of these people, including the Clintons, got together and plotted to kill Jeffrey Epstein because he knew it. And he, I guess he had evidence of it. Not only has this evidence never, ever, ever been brought up, ever, but magically, there is countless tapes that show Barack Obama as president, even though he was closely monitored with cameras on him almost 24 seven, he somehow found a way to slip out and go to an island. Jeff, the Jeffrey Epstein Island, because it's within that piece of game, it's tied in that Obama knows Jeffrey Epstein. It's not far to say he know him. I don't think he associated with him. I think he's seen him in passing, and he was like, okay, I heard about you. Um, I guess nice to meet you. I ain't got no beef with you, but nice to meet you. I'm finna go this way. But right. they say, I guess that meant that was a secret code for, hey, let me borrow your plane and go to this island. And the person, I'm not gonna quote their name because they are insane. But the person that said this said, and I quote, Barack Obama took Jeffrey Epstein's plane to an island 40 something or either, either it was 47 or 49, I think it was 49, if I'm not mistaken. He took Epstein's plane to a secret island that nobody else knew about 49 times. Two abused abused kids. This had cameras on them once again all the time and was surrounded by people that was ready to scrutinize in and everything that he did. At any given moment, he decided, hey, you know what, Jeffrey Epstein? We know about you. Uh-huh. It's been an investigation going on about you ever since. Um, been an investigation going on about you ever since the freaking Clintons was in office. Wasn't so, that dude? Wasn't he the mogul of? No, that's not. That's not the mogul of Virgin Records. Is it? No, that's Richard Branson. Richard Branson. Excuse, Richard Branson. Excuse me, Richard. Yeah, Richard is somewhere on the island. He's on his island smoking weed right now, surrounded by beautiful women, telling him that he is the greatest. Oh, actually, no, he's in his castle on that island that he bought. Yes. With beautiful women telling him that he's awesome. And then he's going to fly his air balloon. Um, he's going to fly his air balloon later that afternoon while smoking a blunt like 3,000 miles in the sky. And he's he chilling. But, and, and his Sir Richard Branson. I apologize. Sir Richard Branson. He has Sir. been knighted. Yes, he got knighted. But yeah, so not only combining with that. Spirit theory, but this one is getting pushed hard most out of all of them because the hatred for Obama, the hatred for the Clintons, and the really the strong dislike for Oprah. Me, I'm not an Oprah fan at all. I'm not a Hillary Clinton fan at all. I think Barack Obama was a solid person. I know everybody got their little opinions about him, but eh, yeah, all right, but I, you know, I, I think I, I just love the fact that he was. Me too. I, not only that, because he was a solid first black president. He well, technically actually, the second, but we're not going to talk yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, we won't talk about that. But yeah, he's, he's a solid, he was a solid dude when he was in there. He tried to do more good than he did, uh, but he tried. He had obstacles in his way, and it was some things that he could have did better, mm-hmm. but he, he's a man. He made mistakes. Everybody, all the presidents did something that everybody didn't agree with. So, you know what I'm saying? But, but with all of that combined, Plus, people being bored with this this thing that's not mentioned. Everybody being bored. Everybody just being angry because they can't get out there and work their frustrations off or kick, you know what I'm saying? Kicking it. And they're kicking it for them, I would say. And I was going to say they can't kicking it themselves. But that just sounded too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they can't go out and have fun with their people in order to get some bad vibes out and all of that without being super cautious. And all that good stuff. So I understand why. But that theory, out of all that conspiracy theory, y'all, it's uh, it, one Barack, Barack Obama is not on house arrest. He's chilling in Hawaii. Oprah Winfrey is not on house arrest. She's chilling because she's Oprah Winfrey. Gail, most is Oprah Winfrey's friend. She's chilling with her. Yeah. They're both kicking it. Gail King. Know, Oprah's best friend, um, and that's a cougar right there. Yeah. 
yeah, she was until she did that R. Kelly interview and said a couple other things. And yeah, that didn't make no sense. Yeah, she just fell off the map for me. But she still, she still nice to what she is. And Ellen DeGeneres is enjoying her life with her wife. She's not traveling across the, the Atlantic Ocean in a secret plane to go abuse kids, man. That's just dumb. It's just, and that's another thing that the internet then got so corrupted is like people would believe 99% of the fucking bullshit. Excuse my language, because 99% of that shit is false. Uh, you gotta do your research, or you gotta learn how to read stuff with an uh, open mind to yep. if it. Read between the lines. You know what I'm saying? You gotta read between the lines. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say, oh, I don't look into this guy look i do it, it gets your mind going like what about if what if this and, da, 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 da. and then when you make your own conclusion about the situation it's like okay it's, it's they want us to pull off of both sides yeah. so they can have leverage somewhat some way and i just count. don't i really don't feed into that i just live life in love you know what i'm saying and throw yeah, my yeah. weed and and do my beats i mean that's all you can do i mean find something that you love to do so you can actually see what's going on and do it so just like that job all y'all people that's out here that's kind of bored instead of coming up with conspiracy theories let's come up with some plans so as soon as this this whole pandemic is over with we can start some new businesses we can see what people have been doing for the last uh, three or four months, they've been stuck in the house. Um, creating the grind. Yeah, we got people that's still out here um, spreading this thing. So we trying to still get it under control. So it's a lot of stuff to think about besides Ellen and them going to secret islands, man. Yeah. If that come out, then let it come out. But I don't think it is at all. And don't go sharing it. Yeah, they don't, Yeah, stop giving stuff like that. Stop giving propaganda life by steady spread. But y'all. That being said, y'all know what it is, man. Thank y'all for joining. Y'all subscribe, like, and share this thing. You know what I'm saying? Sorry I ain't say that at the beginning, but I don't be feeling like begging y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure. You know what I mean? I will we'll put something in the front to make sure y'all subscribe and all that good stuff, too. And next week, we're going to try to have our very first female guest. Because we're going to be talking about relationships and relationship statuses and all that stuff and I think a woman's perspective from that would be we're awesome gonna, we're gonna try to have a couple of females yeah. just cause it's yeah. always two or three of us or yeah. something like that we're gonna try to get a group of women together yeah and then we you probably won't you know I don't know how we're gonna do it but it's gonna be awesome we'll do it so y'all you know what the slogan is I wanna hear y'all point of view hopefully y'all wanna hear that point of view that being said me and my boy Gabe we out out of the same, man. Dang.